packages and Wendy's. <laughs> See what's inside. And this should be <gasps> yes, yes. Pins. That's one. I ordered. I think I just ordered two or three. Yeah, there's like a reddish, copperish one. There's a green one. Hello, Mellow, all you wonderful guys, gals, and ghouls. CJ here, back with another video. And in this video, I will be showing off my AliExpress art supply haul. AliExpress, for those who are not familiar, is an online shopping site where you can pretty much buy anything. Well, almost pretty much anything. And I use it to buy dun, 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 art supplies. Big shocker, I know. But um, yeah, I got a pretty small but pretty decent size haul, and I'm going to share my purchases with you now. Let's see. The first thing I will show is the E Zone. Pencil sharpener. I don't know if you can tell. It says 10 go on it. So, from what it's advertised, it's a totally different brand, but I don't know. But anyway, it looks like what I clicked on, but it just has a different brand name on it. I'm, well, I'm assuming that's the brand name. It says E Zone on the link, and it says 10 go on the actual sharpener. I don't know what that's all about, but yeah. So yeah, this is just a cute little pencil sharpener. It's pink, and if you know me, I don't like the color pink. When I purchased this, they would they said they would send you like a random color, and oh boy, yeah, they gave me pink, but it's okay. It's not that big a deal. But um, I'm gonna show you how it works. It's fairly simple. You pull out like the front little face mask or front cover thing insert the pencil oh yeah you gotta push back one of the little ears the little buttons up here and make sure it like pretty much fits the size of your pencil this one um by the way only works with like um common pencils maybe a little bit bigger but that's about it it doesn't work on like the super fat children's pencils just like your regular size run of the day run of the mill pencils so yeah you pull out the front face plate thing and you push down the little button the little ear thing and then you hold it and you sharpen well i guess i can stop this with video and yeah as you can see it gets your pencil pretty sharp that is a nice point yeah that's pretty good so yeah ease on potentially tingo little pencil sharpener and it's like i wanted to get this because it reminds me of the old school um pencil sharpeners um the ones they had like mounted on the wall somewhere in your classroom you just and it makes like this loud noise and everyone's like staring at you like oh my god i'm going to kill you but <laughs> yeah that's that next thing i will show is the art secret um size six kolinsky hair brush i believe when they say kolinsky hair i believe it's either weasel hair or um squirrel hair either way the brush tip itself is like super de duper soft and if you follow me on this channel i know you see me use this brush already and i have to say this is probably one of my favorite like um brushes so far like i'm very 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 happy with this purchase holds a lot of water a lot of water and when it's wet it comes to like a super de duper fine tip so you can actually like you can almost like write pretty uh, like a pretty small decent size 
and you won't have to worry about like constantly dipping your brush in water or paint to like keep things going but yeah this is um this is my favorite brush like by far it helps you like if you just want to go in and put like a quick wash of something on if you like setting up a picture and cover a big area this is for me it's been very very good so yeah I like this brush and I'll probably buy another one it's probably even bigger next up I bought this cute little Kai or K cute um, 0.38 millimeter pen it's a transparent um, fountain pen and you take off the top as such and it works pretty smoothly. It kind of started off a little uh, at the beginning but yeah, it's a pen and it works fine. Probably still gotta juke it a little bit. I don't have a lot of ink in it as well so I know that's probably part of it. But yeah, see that? These are the Wing Sung um, fountain pens. They come, or I bought them in 0.5 millimeters. And with this one, the tops screw off. Let me set that right there. And writes pretty decently again. I don't I didn't put a whole bunch of ink in it because I wanted to like test them out first but it writes fine it's like a pretty like reddish brownish copperish color I guess I don't know and here's the green one same size same um, brand I just I wanted two of them how you fill up the pen I won't do it now because it's already acting kind of janky is you would get um, Whatever, whatever color ink you want, your favorite ink, you would put it in. Again, I'm not going to actually do it. Oh, that little thing. Really? You want to do this to me right now? Get anyway. But yeah, you would dip it in and you would turn the little knob at the bottom of the pen to draw up the ink. And then, you know, of course, put your ink away because you don't want to be like a crazy person like me and knock ink everywhere because I've done that before um, wipe off your nib get it as clean as possible and then you commence to write me. Oh, oh yeah because I did that and yeah ZYCC um, spells out the brand name Pen Ink. I got colors chocolate, black, and red. And as you can see, the bottles are pretty small. But with ink, you only need a little bit to get a lot done. So I'm okay with it. And plus, it's pretty cheap. So yeah, um, I have opened the chocolate one and used in one of my pens. It's a little okay. No, it has black in it. I believe it's the copper one and my wing song pen. Yes. And the ink is ink. It works. Yeah, that's that. That's that color right there. That's the chocolate one. chocolate ink that I opened up and um because of such a goofball um 
I think I'm gonna keep them in the little baggies as well because I am a complete klutz. So if they like fall and they happen to like spill, at least I'll have the added extra area of the bag to like hold them and hold the inks in and stuff. The bottles themselves are made out of plastic, so I don't, I shouldn't have any problems with like storing them. But yeah, with the inks. Again, like I said, pretty small haul. Um, pretty, pretty decent things. I have to say that I'm pretty much satisfied with all the products. Um, this by far is, uh, again, my favorite brush. Um, inks are good. This is a pretty good pencil sharpener for what it is. It's it is cute. It's very cute. I just don't like the color pink. But it works fine. It, as you can see, or as you saw, it does give a very good um, sharpened pencil. For what it is, it does very well on that. And the pens, even though they are a little chunky, they work fine. Again, it's probably me because I forget which one I put it in. I put in like some old ink and it was like, oh, not working I'm like oh yeah it's kind of like old decrepit ink so I had to like wash it out and put new ink in it and um, I didn't want to use these inks just in case the pens were just awful so I'm like wasted all my ink in not so good pens but the pens are okay and the inks work fine well the chocolate one at least but yeah my overall experience shopping on AliExpress has been um, fair. Let me explain. I also ordered another brush and a um, sushi bazooka. The sushi bazooka arrived broken and the other brush that I ordered never showed up. I contacted customer support or like no, 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 I didn't contact customer support. I contacted the vendor that ordered, where I ordered the brush from. They never responded, so um, I got my money back automatically. It's like a three to five day waiting period to like do the little dispute thing system they have on AliExpress. And they didn't respond, so I automatically got my money back. So, yeah. The... When I contacted the vendor for the sushi bazooka, um, they were like, oh, you know, we're sorry, we checked it, but we're sorry, we're, um, can you please give us a good review? And I'm like, pump that, you gonna get an honest review from me. You know, I'm not gonna just tear apart somebody, but I'm not gonna give you a good review. No, 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 no. The product came broken, and I'm going to tell the truth. So... You know, I did my little review, the little type of review they have on the site. Most sites have it. And I'm like, customer support was okay. They wanted me to give them a good review when they didn't deserve it. So I ended up giving them like three stars for them at least like apologizing and refunding my money and everything. But yeah, no, I'm not going to give a just an all-star review and you delivered me a product that was broken but again overall my experience with AliExpress has been fair I think um, if things go okay in the future I would probably keep using AliExpress but I have to do like research on the vendors that sell items on the site because obviously certain vendors I just kind of crazy so <laughs> I won't be buying anything from them but yeah that was my experience nothing oddly just off the wall crazy but yeah but if you've shopped at Aliexpress and you've had a great experience or you've had a horrible experience I don't know just let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys later Bye-bye.